Today's tip is all about my favorite online presentation tool, polling. What the polling online helps you do is gather information during your presentation. You've got people's full attention. So that's one of several benefits. My favorite reason is that it gets the audience engaged. You can ask questions at any point in the presentation and get feedback. So that keeps them engaged. They're watching, they're listening, they're typing. It's involving as many of the senses as possible. The second reason I love this is that it gives you specific information, free feedback, if you will, on what's working in your presentation and maybe what's not. One of the biggest challenges that presenters have is we think we know what our audiences want. And because of that, we won't change our presentations until we get feedback. Here's an example from a service I use called Mentimeter. This is an online polling tool. I am a big fan of it. I'm not trying to sell it. I don't have an affiliate situation with them, so I'm not making any money. There are other companies that do this too, but I like Mentimeter, M-E-N-T-I-M-E-T-E-R. The example here is a question, what one word best describes how you feel about giving virtual presentations? You can see the number one answer was nervous. Now, what I like about this is the audience can actually type in a word, and we ask them, put in one word. The more frequent the word is typed in, the larger it gets. So this gives us an idea of where people fit. This particular poll was taken five months into the COVID situation. So you can see that people still have a lot of negative feelings about online presentations. There was some good in there, but mostly people were still intimidated. This feedback helped me determine how much of the presentation should be focused on emotions, mindset, versus the technical aspects of presenting. This question asked for a ranking. Tell us what your biggest frustration is. As you can see, keeping audience attention was the number one concern five months into COVID. What's interesting is when I was doing this same poll four months earlier, when the pandemic after effects really kicked in, the number one answer was where to look at my camera. On this poll, you can see it's moved down. Why is this important? Because if I was still centering my presentation around an answer people were giving four months earlier, I'm out of touch. I'm not giving them the information they need. So I had to shift the focus of the presentation. They really didn't need any more help on when to look at the camera and where to look and how do you stay focused on that. Another type of question is where they can fill in sentences. So as you can see here, what other issues are you dealing with? We got all kinds of feedback. Some person decided to put an asterisk. I don't know why that is. Uh, uh, people being distracting on camera, uh, poor IT issues. All of this can be future topics for presentations. Something like this helped me put these tips together. This is a huge benefit to you. This is really free research. You don't have to hassle people after an event, chasing them down to try and hopefully they'll fill in a survey, which most of the time they won't, and I don't blame them. It's our job to take advantage of the situation when we have it to get their feedback. The third benefit to polling is that it helps the audience see the benefit they've gotten from your presentation. I always ask for keepers and action items at the end of my presentations. The keeper is what insight did you get? What new wisdom did you pick up? But you don't want to stop there because new information is useless if they don't use it. So I challenge them, what one new action will you take? That drives home again the benefit that they've gotten from investing their precious time in your presentation. Another side benefit is if the meeting planner is online watching this, that individual is seeing all these positives come back. What was the benefit that everyone got? And there will be many. That greatly enhances the opportunity that you'll get asked back to speak to an organization. So there you have it, three benefits from using polling. If you're not using polls, I recommend you do it as soon as possible. It will give you so much insight and create a deeper connection with your next online audience. See you in tip number 11. If you like the information in this tip, you will love the report we just created. It's called Stop Zoom Burnout Now. It contains dozens of tips, insights, and ideas on how to keep your virtual presentations fresh 
and to keep you, the presenter, and your audience from suffering from all the Zoom fatigue and burnout that we hear about these days. There's no cost or obligation to this report. Simply click on the link below. It'll take you to a sign-up page, and then you can download the report. Hope you enjoy it and hope to see you online soon. <laughs>